All right, so here's the first example from the predicting the products of dissolution topic. And we have these compounds here. Uh, they give us the chemical formula of these compounds, and we're supposed to predict what the major species present when dissolved in water would be. So the first thing we need to consider, uh, number one is, are these compounds ionic or are they molecular? That matters because uh, we need to know whether these are uh, these compounds uh, are strong electrolytes or non-electrolytes or weak electrolytes. And we need to know this because it gives us some important information about what is exactly happening to this compound when it is dissolved in water. So for ionic compounds, all ionic compounds are strong electrolytes. How do we know if this is an ionic compound? Well, we'll have generally a metal uh, uh, element somewhere in there, a metal, metal atoms within the compound itself. Uh, molecular compounds generally are just non-metal atoms. So all ionic compounds are strong electrolytes, which means when they dissolve in a solvent, they are dissociated, they are broken apart. The actual um, compound itself broken apart by water molecules. On the other hand, molecular compounds, when they dissolve in a solvent, they are not broken apart uh, in, into the different pieces of the molecule. Now, molecules are separated from each other, but the molecule themselves are not broken apart. So when I look at these compounds, well, I see nitrous oxide, N2O, this is a molecular compound. This is a molecular compound, and this also is a molecular compound. So molecular compounds, the only molecular compounds that are strong electrolytes are strong acids. None of these are strong acids. Also, none of these are acids at all, or even bases, so they can't be weak electrolytes either. So these compounds, nitrous oxide, glycerol, and acetone, fall under this category. All other compounds, all other molecular compounds, and therefore are non-electrolytes. Meaning when they dissolve in water, they do not dissociate. They do not actually, the molecule themselves, break apart. Now, molecular compounds do dissolve. Water molecules do pull uh, individual molecules away from each other, but they do not break apart the actual molecules themselves. So therefore, when nitrous oxide dissolves in water, the major species present would be nitrous oxide, except these molecules are hydrated, so aqueous, and water, which is the solvent itself, so I'd put an L there. Glycerol, as a molecular compound and a non-electrolyte, if it's soluble in water and dissolves in water, I'd put an AQ there to show that it's hydrated by water molecules, but not broken apart. And also, I'd have water molecules, since water is the solvent. For acetone, I'll have acetone hydrated by water molecules, and again, water itself.